Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarika, and welcome back to Last Earth Survival. So finally we've gotten the new update, this is the settlement update, the second home update, the second base update, the expedition update, whatever you want to call it, even the mercenary update, even though the mercenaries, whatever, we're going to talk about those mercenaries a little bit later. So you probably already know this, but they've upgraded our minivan, so now we have here some sort of a turret, we have here now some more things, we can upgrade some of these buildings, for example, we can get this garage to level 2, which, why would we be getting it to level 2? I honestly don't have a slightest clue at least right now but i think we are going to explore it uh, at least today we also have these uh, mercenary contracts so we will be exploring that today wait let's close this and over here we can get more info about these mercenaries we can upgrade these mercenaries here from this page there where lots of other things added to the game as well and from over here we can even start these expeditions so it looks like we have duels captures and evacuations that might come soon i don't know when that stuff is going to come out hopefully it's going to come out i'm keeping my fingers crossed that actually we're going to get these things but on whatever's going to happen i don't have a slightest clue and uh, yeah so during these expeditions wait can we get this daily loot because I still haven't taken it. So yeah, we can get these five mercenary tags. There we go. Let's claim that daily loot. And it'll refresh now in one day. Okay, so the more boxes we get, will we be getting more daily loot? Maybe. So yeah, the further we go, the more daily loot we'll probably be able to claim. And these boxes are going to have some other loot here as well. So yeah, and then we have the destroyed station. Which I have no idea if it's even in the game. Because it looks like we have to build a level to... Uh, we need to upgrade these headquarters to level two. And I don't really know if we have everything, if we have these iron billets or these pine beams, which probably we do. And you might be like, well, Sack, where do you get these uh, iron billets and other stuff? So there were a bunch of other benches added to the game, which is absolutely insane. We can build new houses here. There's this thing, the storehouse, and I'm still kind of confused how these things work here and what are all of these things. What are these cards? What are these pallets? What are those fans? What do they do? I have no idea, but we're gonna all we're gonna check all of that out today. We will be figuring it out. But yeah, you can build bases in the second base as well. They've added a bunch of new workshops. I mean, just look at that. We can place barrels, we can place workshop, bunch of other of those things. And yeah, I think that we have these workshops, assemblies, foundries, wood shops, like lots of cool things that we will have to figure out what all of those things do. And on top of that, we have a water pump that we need to assemble and up there we have a generator thing that we need to assemble so lots of cool things that we need to do so i've already seen some people not being happy with this update which i kind of get it the expeditions themselves maybe aren't that interesting but at least i'm happy that it's something else because that's what i was expecting this place to be i thought that it's going to be something different and it looks like it is something different from the main world at least you know what at least it's not sector 7 all of the loot that we get here is used in our game plus we've gotten a new settlement so so far i do like this update i'll have to play it longer to judge it fully but so far i like it it gets my approval it is really fun and now I think we're going to continue the acts because I think we need to progress through these acts in order to unlock and learn more about this stuff. So to continue with this act too, it looks like Rachel likes to tinker about with the cars. So she'll be upgrading our minivan. All we have to do is find her tools. I can't figure out why she keeps burying them. I don't know why she keeps burying them. Oh, yeah, true. She said that we need to get ourselves a shovel. Say, so let's get back to our base. Let's get a shovel. And it looks like we got to go to the limestone cliffs. So let's go to the limestone cliffs and let's get it. Look at the Sykes 2x2 storage room. I mean, it's for now, it's just a 2x2 storage room. There'll be more stuff. Uh, why don't you talk about the big problem? We can't play this game with this update. What do you mean you can't play this game with this update? I've seen some people uh, claiming that they have bugs and other things. I mean, for me, it works flawlessly. So I can't really speak about something that I haven't encountered. I've seen people saying that they, some of them lost the progress or some of them... Uh, couldn't play the game, they had loading screens or whatever, but not everybody has those problems. Like, for example, for me, I have, I had no issues so far. I mean, who knows, maybe something's gonna happen during the live stream. And then I'll be able to talk about it, because as of right now, there's nothing I can talk about when I don't know what issues I can talk about here. I haven't encountered anything myself yet. I think this update is quite cool, people just need to wait for a hot fix. Yes, 
I believe. And I think this update is quite interesting as well. Again, those mercenaries, those expeditions aren't that great. And plus they said that, hey, we have expeditions and mercenaries. It's like two different things, but at the same time, it's the same thing. Like mercenaries are useless without expeditions and expeditions are useless without mercenaries. So it's like, it is the same thing. And yet they say that, oh, we've, we've added mercenaries and expeditions. It's like two different things. And yet it is the same thing. But I, I get it. I'm kind of also disappointed that mercenaries cannot follow us to Bunker Alpha and to other things, but maybe in the future. Who knows? But still, I'm kind of happy that they've added new things to the game. Like, all of that negative stuff aside, it's... We've gotten at least something. It's like, did you notice the Christmas tree in the old pickup truck on our base? No, I haven't noticed anything. I'm actually going to go and check it out. I'll actually get a shovel now. And yeah... We will check that out. So there are so many cool things to check out. So I'm very happy to be playing Last on Earth today. I've waited for this update for a really long time. We've all waited for this update. So there is that. You'll get better loot the more you do succeed in expeditions. Yes, indeed. I've shown that in the previous video that you'll get better loot. Oh, look at this. There's the tree. I haven't even seen it. Oops, wrong button. It was supposed to clap here. I have no gifts though in this old pickup truck. But hey, that's kind of cool. They brought that stuff back here. Also on the loading screen, not on the loading screen, but in the patch notes or something, developers said that there will be a Christmas event. Apparently we still don't have it. Maybe closer to Christmas we'll get it. Yo, Machine Saucer, welcome to the stream. Ladybug, welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined. Welcome, welcome, everybody. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments down below. There are going to be timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker. It's like, check your fish if they're bugged. Uh, what? My fish? I don't even know if I have any fish. I don't remember where I store it. Okay, I probably store my fish here. Oh yeah, the fish does look a little bit different. Oh my goodness, such an unplayable bug here. I seriously, I can't play the game like this, guys. How are we gonna play the game? Look at the fish here. So bugged. How am I supposed to play? I might as well just delete Last on Earth. Seriously, it's unplayable. The game is at unplayable state. Look at this filthy, disgusting bug. Unbelievable. Seriously, unbelievable. But all jokes aside, guys, I do know that the game has uh, bigger issues right now. Some people can maybe log in or some other stuff, but I'm assuming the developers are going to fix all of this. All the sarcasm and jokes aside, I believe developers are going to fix all of that stuff. It's like they changed dots on the guns. Oh, yeah, they did change them. They put them back closer together. That stuff as well. Yes, I did notice it, but I didn't say anything because I just forgot to say it. But yeah, they have changed that stuff as well. So let's get some first aid. Because I'm actually maybe even going to make a poll here. I wanted to do it for a while now. Do you like this new update? Yes. No. 50-50. Need. Uh, waiting for. For bug fixes. Waiting for a bug fix, and uh, I don't know. There we go. Boom, guys. You can vote now here. What do you think about this update or not? I've just created a poll. Running low on medkits. Says someone in the chat there. Sorry, I didn't see the name. No, we have a decent amount of medkits. We have medkits here, we have medkits here, and we have medkits in the other... Uh, chest here and plus probably we have another chest around here it's okay we have a little bit of food there but yeah and maybe some stuff here so yeah, we have a decent amount of medkits for now at least we're still good I'd say we're still loaded and let's perhaps get another gun I don't even know if we need another one I don't know what to expect there but I'm excited to go. Now these weapons are kind of weird, but at the same time, they they don't even look as weird because we've already had these dots like that before. Oh my God. So there is that. Wow, Anonymous, yeah. thanks for getting a hoodie. Oh uh, bought God. a zip hoodie. Thank you. Thank you. Anonymous, I have no idea who you are, but thanks for getting the merch. merch. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks for the support on the channel. Happy holidays to you, whoever you were. Thank you, thank you. After you guys get the merch, make sure to show it on... I don't know where. You can send me a DM on Instagram or something. Uh, we'll check it. It's always nice to see that kind of stuff. So thank you guys for everything. And hey, we got the food. We got everything. We got weapons. So let's go now to the limestone cliffs. And let's continue with the act too. 
Okay, so, so far, I mean, it's early to say we... The poll's been up only for one minute, but I can see that 67% of you like this update and 14% of you are waiting for the bug fix. For the bug fix. So I'd say the majority of the players like this update, even though the loud minority says that they don't like it, that they expected something different. I don't know what they expected it, but myself, personally, I do like it. If I'm being honest, I... Wait, limestone cliffs. Yeah, that's where we got to go to. Like, if I'm being honest, I 100%, like, from the bottom of my heart, I did believe that this update is going to be worse. Like, for sure. I was thinking that the update is going to be worse than this. I was expecting it to be worse. I didn't expect it to be this good. It's, I'm not saying that, wow, it's the best thing I've ever seen. That's it. But it is better than I expected. So, that says something. And I'm happy with the update. All right, we've just came to the stone cliffs and everything is different. Hello? Who is here? Okay, these are just basic floater bloaters. Maybe I'm just gonna get this weapon. These expeditions keep getting harder. I'm at 14 out of 40. Yeah, I mean, I believe these expeditions are gonna keep getting harder because why wouldn't they? Maybe mercenaries are gonna be hard to upgrade. I think that's gonna be the biggest problem in the beginning. They're quite easy, but then they get harder. But again, I'll have to... We'll have to experiment on this. The update just came out. We can't really judge everything right now. And I can't really say much about this update besides that, hey, so far I like it. So far I think that it's kind of cool and we haven't even seen the Christmas event yet. Let's deal with this. I'll eat some of that. Wait, I want to get the... Sneaking skill. Just to see if I'll be able to sneak under this thing. I doubt it. Okay, it doesn't allow me to sneak under that thing. I just wanted to check it out. I just wanted to know if it's possible to sneak under that thing. Oops. And again, guys, if you have any problems or anything, just contact support and they should fix it. Hopefully. Motel and factory is important against us, try for all. I have no idea, I haven't checked it. So I can't say anything. There is a trap, I'll maybe make a little bit of noise. It doesn't really matter, there's only one zombie here. There is an exploder, however. I will pop that exploder. It looks like these tasks are a little bit harder than previous acts, as previous acts were a bit easier. I don't even know if I'm supposed to fight all of these zombies, I just fight them... Because why not? And also, yeah, obviously seen some people saying that Season Pass is a little bit goopy. A little bit disappointing. But at the same time, I'm not surprised about it. Like, the Season Pass has kept getting worse for the past, like, three, four, maybe even five seasons. So I didn't expect a good Season Pass. It's bad in paid or free-to-play version. But, yeah... Season passes have always been kind of wanky, kind of bad. Since season one, I expected them to have better loot. Oh, there's a doggo. Welcome. Can I get you? Okay, the doggo's just gonna run away. I won't be able to take it. Whatever, I'm gonna dig this thing. Maybe I'll get some tools. Perhaps. No, we've just got a bunch of random stuff that I could take. All right, you know what? I'll take everything. I'll bring that stuff back to the base. I'll take all of it. Nothing here. How do I get to another side? We'll have to go around. Yo, Pink Lady, thanks for being a member for five months. Thank you for everything. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? I am doing great. Hopefully, you're doing great as well. Welcome, welcome. You can dismantle those traps, just sneak to them and interact. Like, I've never tried doing that before. I want to see how that'll work, so we will dismantle those traps. Do we get loot by dismantling them? Maybe. Oh, there's something. Some sort of a robotic arm. Okay. There's a turkey. Do I save this turkey or not? I mean, the turkey is just stuck. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't save it. It's just gonna stay locked there. I can't take it myself and I can't save it either. Go on, pop. Do I take it? 
Oh no, I just opened it up. Hey dude, what you doing here? Get away from the screwdriver. I'm gonna kill you for that. Oh, this is the screw the screwdriver, I see it. I'm pretty sure He's attacking me! Okay, so I mean we will probably tame this dude, because I've seen him in the trailer. Okay, uh holy kill my fist. I can't you can't beat me with this. Okay, take all this crap and get out. Screwdriver, come. Oh, so the puppy's the screwdriver. The guy's called the screwdriver, but hey, let's get the screwdriver and bl bra let's bring it to Rachel. I'm pretty certain the Rust guy is gonna come with us. Probably, because he's a mercenary as well. I guess. There we go. I feel ashamed that I had to wait for so long for for this goop from Kefir's Shadow Duffer. I mean, I don't really know what you expected. As I said, I expected worse, and this update, in my opinion, delivered more than I expected, so that's a W in my opinion. If you've been playing this game for five years and you expected more, then I don't think there's no one else to blame, because, I mean, throughout the five years, we know what kind of updates we get here, so we could manage our expectations. I get it. Again, those expeditions are just like side thing. They they frame them as that's the main thing, but basically that entire settlement has so many things to do. Like so many new workbenches to guess, so many new things to check out. I don't know why we need all of those workbenches. I don't know why we need to upgrade our stuff there. But we will have to check it out. When will the free-to-play series start? Soon-ish. I don't know when. I haven't done it yet, but we'll start it. I haven't started it yet, but we will start it. Okay, so let's try to leave this place, then let's get back to the settlement. I've looted everything there is to loot. And let's bring this stuff back to the base. True, but they made it out to be the biggest thing ever to come to last on Earth. It's a Shadow Duffer. But isn't it the biggest thing to come to last on Earth? What was bigger than that? I mean, besides the... We did get the ATV, but I'd say it's on par with the ATV update. Like, we've gotten a Bunker Bravo and the ATV. That's pretty much it that expanded to the... Swamp location, but only you could access those things after playing the game for like half a year or something After you get enough stuff and here like basically the game got 50% bigger like now we have the entire settlement There are so many things to do in the settlement. There are like god knows how many workbenches there. There's the electricity now We need to get the water you need to lay wires you need to lay pumps to those houses I don't even understand how all of it works and plus we've got an expedition so there are more things that you have to do besides just Bunker Alpha constantly when you started the game. So they've added content for all the players, for old and for new players. Which I really don't know what people expected more. I think it's an, it's an alright update. It's definitely probably one of the bigger updates we've gotten in the game. One of the biggest updates that we've gotten in the game. So yeah, it, it does get my approval. But again, for now we'll have to play longer to see what it's like. While it's all about if it's worth it or not, because... It's cool to build houses, it's cool to build workbenches, but why? Right? Why do we need all of that? Whatever, let's talk to Rachel now. Uh, oh, Malaki screwdriver, thank you. That's it. You sat here and waited for the screwdriver. Now we have everything. Let's pimp this minivan. There we go. We can upgrade the minivan from over here. At least I made the right choice to keep farming the motel and factory for those special parts. Yes, indeed. We're gonna get more special parts. And, okay, so it's pretty easy to upgrade the minivan. We just need duct tapes, bolt, and other random things, and then we'll be able to probably upgrade it to level 2. Okay, understandable. Then we have a turret, plus maybe here later on we'll be able to unlock more things. But I, I did get duct tape with me, didn't I? I have four duct tape. So why can't drag it? That's the bug that you were talking about. It's a zero. Or do I need to drop it? Where do I drop those things? Maybe you need to have everything. Uh, let's get 10 duct tape, 10 bolts. You need a full amount. Okay, so that's kind of wanky. They should fix this. You should see how many things you got. Plus, you should be able to click plus here and add them one by one. Not like that. You need exactly 10 or more. That's kind of weird. So yeah, that, that should... I'm gonna think that it's a bug. They should definitely fix it, this. 
so let's get duct tape, bolts, rubber parts, and scrap metal. Duct tape, bolts, rubber parts, and scrap metal. Duct tape, bolts, rubber parts, and scrap metal. I just don't have any rubber parts. Let's get back to the base. Okay, let's add these, 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 and we need now more rubber parts. Let's get back to the base. Let's get them. It's like there is the blueprint for iron wiring and aluminum wire in the farm location. You can see on the iron casting thingy. Uh, I don't have the iron casting thingy. I have nothing. So there are lots of things to check out. Let's get the rubber parts. At least we can travel freely uh, without wasting any energy between the settlement and our base. So that's kind of cool. My van is already at level 10, says uh, seeing very epic. Very, very, very poggers. So we're going to get our minivan now to level 2. I'm kind of curious if it'll look different or it'll still look the same. Okay, right, let's upgrade it. Let's... Bam, there we go. We have more things. It would be kind of cool once we upgrade them to know... Uh, to know how many more things we'll get once we upgrade it. But it's at... It's at level 2. Out of 30 levels, it's at level 2. Try out the minivan on an expedition. So there we go. Let's go to these expeditions. And I kind of agree with this, guys. I think these expeditions are disappointing. Like, I'm not gonna lie here and say that, oh my god, expeditions are amazing. They're pretty goopy. Like, that's probably the worst part about this entire update. Like, these expeditions themselves, the way you have to do them. Cannot get more daily loot, buddy. Let's go here. Can we auto squad? There we go. We just got the auto squad, and I think it's good enough. Except we need recommended gear score 550. So are we going to die now with this minivan as well? Because we don't have enough gear score. So yeah, like this part itself, the gameplay part itself of those expeditions is kind of May-ish. But it is something different. And it's not like you have to keep doing it all the time. After you reach the wall, you won't be able to do anything. As you'll need to keep upgrading your mercenaries. I think we're just gonna lose here again, even with this minivan. There we go, that was wave one. Let's deal with the wave two. There we go, one guy died. They dropped that turret. I can't drop the turret for some reason. It doesn't work. It doesn't allow me to drop that turret. Well, there we go. Somehow, some way we did it. We've gotten some iron billets. I think now we can quit. We don't need to go any further because we will die. Once it gets to 1,000 recommendation, then you will be stuck till you get over 850. Yeah, I believe. I need 1,000 power and it'll take a long time to get. Yeah, I believe it'll take some time to, to progress there further. I guess. The best thing to do is to keep upgrading the minivan. I guess so. I mean, that's why we can upgrade it. We've gotten four of these iron billets. And we also have to talk to Connor. There we go. There's our friend Connor. Uh, having the second room would come in handy. There's no place to work with wood. Okay. Wait, but first of all, I want to check this stuff out. Let's get all the rewards. Uh, we got lots of planks and logs. Gunner wants to build a separate room to work with them. He says it would be more convenient. Also, does anybody know the best placement for these buildings? Do I have to place it closer to electricity? Because I think it won't be very smart to place buildings all the way down here. Because if we will have to lay pipes from here, it'll probably cost more resources, no? Or are these pipes free? So I think maybe it'll be more worth it to build rooms around this place the closer the better I guess the turret is still working you can't activate it until that turret was destroyed oh so it was already there I just didn't see it on the map there 
Well, 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 let's get some foundation. So I think I'll build another building here. Rooms need to be big too. I mean, we can always upgrade them. We can always expand those rooms. Gaps between rooms for pipes. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I'll get the planks, other stuff. And I think we need to get back to our base to get more planks and woods and other things. It's like, have you ever played Minecraft? Yes, I played Minecraft. From which, from which version? I don't remember. It's been a really long time ago. You know what? I will keep a little bit of food with me. We need more planks, more other stuff. Make the second room a bit bigger. Yeah, I'll try to do it three by three. Yeah, three by three rooms for workbenches. Okay, cool. I'll get a three by three room, guys. Thanks for the info. I will get a three by three room. So, yeah, so far, I think this update is kind of cool just because we can craft these workbenches there. I mean, it's, it's already something different. So, yeah. Uh, let's build the... The thing. Okay, so let's do three by three. I think that should be large enough. Correct? There we go. Let's go for it. I'll believe you. If you're telling me that I have to build a three by three, I will build a three by three. Let's get a wall and wait, that's it. We're out of iron. Nani. Wait, I want to see if I can build windows. Yeah, for windows, we need iron as well. So let's get back to the base. Let's get some more iron. Three by three won't be enough later on though. It's fine. We will expand those bases. Build a three by four. Okay, we will build even bigger then. Okay, we will build a bigger base. At least four by three for a storehouse and others three by three. Okay, we'll see. I will expand them. We will expand those bases. For now, I don't even know why we need to build them that large, but we'll figure it out. We will learn more about them. Okay, let's get back to that other base. Upset about the expedition scaling too fast, forcing to buy more mercenary stags to level up your companion, says David K. Uh guess so. I mean, I don't know. It would be hard to say because this entire game scales kind of fast and there aren't a lot of levels. I currently don't even know if there's a level to... If we can even build those headquarters to level 2. Has anyone tried doing this? Is it even possible to build those headquarters to level 2? I think maybe it is possible. I don't know. And I don't know how hard it is to upgrade those mercenaries. But yeah, I believe it is a little bit probably paid to win. It wouldn't be LDOE if it wasn't. But hey, for now, I can't really comment much on this because I don't know. You know what? I'll build a 3x3. If I'll ever need to expand it, I will expand it, guys. Bam. Let's build a door and let's add now some of these basic walls. Oops. Let's add one here, one here, here. Here and here. There we go. We've gotten another house. Put a control desk in the room. So we got to build another control desk. And what's a control desk? Okay, so that's a control desk. We will place it here. Like that. Looks very epic. And if we touch it with this control desk. Wait, what? Wood shop. But how do we know that it's a wood shop? Because it's a control desk and it says that it's a wood shop. I just don't get it. How do we know that that one is a wood shop and this one is a storage thing? This one is a storehouse. Wait, what if I want to build, let's say, another storehouse? I go over here. I go to the storehouse. Oh, so it says here that this is a control desk storehouse. Okay, wait, I clicked the wrong thing. That's a control desk storehouse and it's a wood shop. Control desk, wood shop. Okay, so I know that it's wood shop now. We go over here. And in the wood shop now we should be able to build these things. 
because we built it. We'll see it. It shows a logo. Yes, it also shows a logo there. And here we've unlocked now a grinder, a carpenter's bench, and sawdust. We also have a... Log holder. Oh wait, maybe after we build the log holder and we build a sawmill, then we'll be able to build this grinder and this carpenter's bench. I think that's how it works. I think that's the UI here could be done a bit better for zero IQ people like me to understand easier. Because I think now we need to build a pallet, right? We need to build these carts, we need to build these barrels, and then I think we'll be able to unlock more pallets, more shelvings, and fancy. Yo, couple of thanks for the donation. Welcome to the stream. Yo, what's up, my man? I hope you're doing Gucci. When is the next The Long Dark video? Thanks, mate, for being here. And very soon. I think tomorrow there's Come Survival video. And after after tomorrow, maybe there is a new The Long Dark video. So there will be, be so there will be more The Long Dark videos. Okay, so let's try to build a sawmill now. Let's go over here wood shop and boom we can build ourselves a sawmill okay so we cannot build that sawmill yet because i don't have enough iron and uh, and 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 screwdriver so let's get it so let's get the iron and those screwdrivers it's like how do you rate this update million question marks says cb i have no idea i haven't played that long to rate it fully but i think it it gets my approval for now it is fun. I mean, it is way better than the previous update we had. It is way better than whatever we've had before. It's like either the first or the second best update. Like, I think it's it's either the ATV update that we've gotten or this update, which I think this update is better than the ATV update. So... It's the best update that we've gotten so far anyways. But Cyrek... I like my ATV. I don't have it yet, but... Okay. Understandable. Okay, so let's get the bolts. And let's upgrade it. The update is better than ATV for sure. So yeah, I mean, ATV was the best update. I mean, if you didn't like this update, guess what was better update for you then? Like rank three best updates. It was maybe a bit disappointing. I'm not going to say that it's the best. Wait, we need a, this and some iron, probably. To be honest, I'm very confused. Like, I've, I'm really confused why people are disappointed with this update. Like, I, I have no idea. I'd like to know more, guys. So if you don't like this update, let me know why you don't like this update. Even though, again, probably majority of the people like it. And I think this update had lots of bugs. Like 61% of you say that you do enjoy this new update. 12% of you say that you're waiting for the bug fix. So after they fix it, there'll be like, what? 70% of you that enjoyed it. And that's it. That's majority. And then 13% of you don't like this update, which is like, that's minority. Just the fact that we don't have to spend months on end grinding to use the minivan makes it better than the ATV update. That's true, and at the same time, can you drive the ATV? No. Well, you can't really drive minivan, but at least you can't use it. You can see it in action. You can't even use your ATV that you have there. You just go with it to the swamp location after you assemble it. So it is... I do like this update. I think it's fine. When I saw the expeditions, I was a bit disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. I saw those dis expeditions, the, the way that it's played out, I was like a bit, eh. But expeditions are just a small part of this. Like, it's... It's not all about the expeditions. Like, building these rooms is already fun. Okay, so we came back here for the wood workshop. Let's build ourselves a sawmill, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it takes two by two. I get it. Let's build it. Let's build a sawmill. And now we can make a pine, pine beam. So even this act explains everything, how things work. Oh, pine beam requires four planks! Ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. Take the minivan for a ride while the part is being made set off on expeditions. Okay. I don't really like the expeditions that much, but other things are very good. Yeah, I don't like expeditions myself as well. Like, I think expeditions are the worst part about this update. Like, that's what I'm going to say. I do believe that 
two by two low, it's one by two. It's one by two, sorry, I said it incorrectly. It is one by two, not two by two. Don't listen to everything I say. You can only put pine beams on pallets and chopper or chopper storage. Nowhere else is trifold. That's pretty cool, isn't it? They've added different type of storage where you can store different type of things. And I think that is bloody lovely. That is bloody lovely. Buckle up, you will hundreds of pine beams. Buckle up, you will hundreds of pine beams. What I will hundreds of pine beams. What I will hundreds of pine beams. Bam, let's drop it here. So it takes 15 minutes. Could be worse. All right, so while we are waiting, let's try to go on another expedition. That's what it said. How will we know when to stop listening to you? When I start saying weird things, then you should probably stop listening to me. There's Rust guy. Look at this guy. So we saw this dude. When we'll be able to get it? Maybe later on. Maybe, maybe later on. Connor has lots of health. And plus they have lots of descriptions. I don't really like it. Like it's... It is just confusing. If I have to say like my opinion about this, it's just confusing and bad. Like the the thing itself, whatever it's called, the, those expeditions, they're pretty boring. You just click one button and you look at it. And yet there are like so many things. Connor makes three quick machete swigs, dealing the target 320% of damage with each blow. If the target dies, Connor inspires his allies, thus increasing his and their damage by 10% for 10 seconds. What does it mean? Like, what, what, who cares? Who cares what he does? Like, it's just, it's like too much information for something. And then we have tenacity. It's like, and all of these things have lots of different, lots of different things, lots of different info. Like, this dude has a turret. Like, that's cool. The dude drops a turret. But I guess there is info. Like, I mean, maybe info is needed. Doesn't matter. Let's try to level this guy up. We don't have any of those universal stripes. How did that stuff even work? Okay, so I have these tags now, correct? Wait, I want to go to the shop here because I'm kind of confused with how these tags work. They should have added some of these tags in season 32. For sure. Where are the things? Okay, so we can have 20 of those. We have 20 of those points. We can buy mercenary tags here, which are kind of... Okay. Like, very, very lame-ish. But, okay. So we can open up another box. Right now, let's open it up. We've gotten these tags. We've gotten four Daredevil Stripes. Oh, okay. Why can't I open more? I can only open them up one by one. Okay, so I've just gotten two boxes, three boxes. We should see how many of those points we have. And now we need to buy more of those things. Okay, whatever. Let's open up one box. We've gotten more of those stripes. More stripes. And more stripes. We need new mercenaries when you can get stripes. Um... I kind of don't get it. We see these arrows going up. You see, guys? There's an arrow going up close to this guy and this guy. Oh, because I can't level them up. I can't level any of these other guys up, but I can level these two guys. Correct? Absolutely correct. Okay, cool. So how do I get this mercenary rank 1 required? Isn't he a rank 1 already? Every fifth shot damages multiple targets on the attack line. How do I get him to rank two? Well, let's upgrade him. I guess that's all we can do. Maybe we can even upgrade this guy a little bit to level two if it's worth it or not. Well, I upgraded him. We have more health. And let's try to upgrade this guy now. 
There we go, now he's level 6. And we could still upgrade this guy even more, at least to level 3. Every 100th opening we get a character. We get a guaranteed character, but I think there is a chance to get one even before those 100 openings, no? I think so. It's kind of annoying that this stuff is hidden in the shop here. Yeah, a guaranteed drop of a very rare contract for 100 of those things. For each opening, you'll get a mercenary contract and stripes of one of the traits. A contract of the same mercenary can drop for a second time. It'll come in handy for the development. What? Rare contracts drop in 9% of the openings. Very rare ones drop in 1% of the... Uh, in 1% or at least once in 100 openings. So we have 9% chance to get a rare mercenary. Okay. Understandable. Understandable. Okay, so let's go further while that beam is beaming. Oh, we need to maybe even upgrade our minivan, no? Because we have gotten those billets. So there's our minivan, so let's get those four iron billets and let's upgrade that stuff. Where's that stuff? We did get it. Was it sent to the inbox or was it sent somewhere else, guys? Because check this out, I'm almost, I'm 100% certain we have gotten it. No, not here, not here. Where we did, where did I get those four billets? Or am I imagining? Maybe I'm imagining. Maybe we didn't get those four billets yet. But I thought... I got them. Apparently we don't have those billets yet. In your inventory box. Okay, maybe I did get them in the inventory box. But where did I get them from? I don't even remember. Yes, indeed. We got those billets. There we go. Let's get them. In front of the headquarters. Guys, I knew that they're there in that box. I knew that they're here. I was just searching where did I get them from. I thought that maybe I got them from uh, that act. That's how I was in the act. I was curious where that stuff is. Where did I get it from? But maybe we've gotten it by using that shovel somewhere in that location. Okay, so we need plastic and ball, and ball bearings. Let's get that plastic. Let's get the ball bearings. We got it from the expedition. Oh, maybe we got it from the expedition. Maybe. Maybe from the expedition. Okay, cool. Makes sense. How many raids there will be today? There's literally a new update. Let me say it slower. There is a new update. It's like do raids. You've just done thousand raids in the past six months. I need more. Okay. Okay, if we'll need those planks, we'll get them. I came here for the bolt bearings and what else did I need? And plastic. Collect your daily reward stuff. We've already gotten them. Uh, we've gotten that stuff already. This and a little bit of plastic. There we go. Let's get back to the base. Only five raids today. Okay. Yeah, we all we will only do guys five raids today. Try more expeditions till you die. You can do a couple more till it reaches 1000. I mean, I'll definitely try. I just want to upgrade the minivans and other things while we are at it. There we go. Let's upgrade the minivan. Now it has more stuff in it. Now we need more of these iron billets and we need more screws. Can be found in the motel or crafted in a lathe. This is cool. This is cool. But hey, let's go for those expeditions then. I'm gonna curious what other expeditions we'll do here. Like capture and evacuation. Maybe we'll get different game modes. Maybe it won't only be the same thing where we just drive and smash those zombies. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Let's auto squad because I think this auto squad is the best. Like. Yeah. Let's go.
Maybe PvP. I mean, we already have PvP in the Sector 7. PvP is not coming here. PvP is definitely not coming here. Alright, let's get all of this. Except, guys, I still have one question that still boggles my mind. Go inside, let me know what is that question. Why? Like, the biggest question, why do we do all of this? Like, we got the settlement. Cool, like... That's awesome. At the same time, like, we have the main world in, uh, world in single player. I'm trying to answer my own question to myself. There you go, we've just done it. Let's go further. But yeah, we have the main world in Sector 7. Uh, not in Sector 7, in the single player. Right, we clear Bunker Alpha to get guns, but why do we get guns? I mean, it's same... Yeah, probably same question can be answered as well. Like, why do we get guns? I mean, to make life easier. Does this thing make life easier? I mean, in single player, some locations should make your life easier, I guess. Does settlement make your life easier? Do you get something? I mean, it's for entertainment. Like, of course, like, guys, I like this. I'm not saying that this update is bad. I do like it. As I said, the settlement is kind of cool. I love building these new workbenches because I said many times already since the beginning of this game that it's all about grinding. If this game doesn't, it wouldn't have grind, it'd be boring. As grind is the part of gameplay in this game. So... And I lost my thought. There we go, we finished this thing. So if the grind is part of the gameplay, we grind in the settlement, but does the settlement make our life easier? Like, we will build all of those workbenches, but why? To upgrade those headquarters. To unlock more expeditions, that's what it seems like. To get more expeditions, and maybe expeditions will give some loot, but... Loot from expeditions doesn't seem... It is loot. But you use most of this loot back into the settlement. So yeah, all I'm just trying to say here is that loot is great. But maybe not enough loot. Yeah, I was hoping for Santa event. There will be Santa event. When you load in for the first time into the game, they, they've showed the patch notes. And they say that there will be a Christmas event. So let's drop another turret. There we go, let's do... We've gotten one more victory, plus we've gotten some more daily rewards. Which is kind of cool. Sadly, there's no Psyche NPC. One day, guys, there will be Psyche NPC. There will be Psyche Mercenary. There will be a Psyche Mercenary with a zip gun. Psyche freely? No. <laughs> it probably will never get it. But... Wouldn't that be epic? Alright, so let's deal with all of that stuff. I think we can do maybe one or two more expeditions before we hit the wall. There we go, let's warm up the minigun. Maybe there is a little bit of a strategy to it, but... Oh no, the guy just exploded. That's it, I think we're gonna fail here now. Probably we're gonna fail here. Oh no, we've gotten another victory. That is epic. There we go, let's quit it. Maybe we'll do more expeditions a bit later. I want to see if those wood things are ready. I want to see if that stuff is ready. Do you love the new update? I like it. I think it's cool. I think the new update is cool. Okay, so we still have one more minute to, to wait for those things to finish. For those pine beams or whatever they're called. So let's do maybe one more expedition then. While we are waiting.
So now we can get more daily loot. Now look at this. Now we get only six. Wait, why do we get only six? Oh, because this thing gives only one and this thing gives five. Okay, so this loot definitely combines. So we get more daily loot. The further we go, the more daily loot we can get. So we can keep getting those mercenary tags every day, which is cool. We need now 800 gear score. Expedition is like pineapple and pizza, and I hate pineapples as Infinity Swift. All right. That's an interesting analogy, but you got the spirit. Okay, there were some random people that uh, just ran by us. We go, let's drop all of these turrets. There we go. The guy is probably gonna die. He tanks all of the... All of the attacks. I'm trying to speak as if there's a strategy to it. You just click all the buttons as soon as they show up and that's pretty much it. There are buttons to make you feel like as if... You have a choice here, but mostly just click them as soon as they're available. That is pretty much it. There we go. Another victory. Okay, cool. We've gotten more loot. When is the next Long Dark episode? Soon. This might be your last expedition, maybe. And plus, we've completed that wood stuff. Speak to Tucker. Uh, wait, I just want to touch those uh, pine beams. Here they are. Can be sawn in the sawmill. Too big. Won't fit as fuel. Heavyweight item. Heavyweight item, huh? So we can store that stuff at the base. Is that what you're saying? Let's talk to Tucker and then I'll try to store that stuff at the base. Can I even store it here? Probably won't fit in this thing. Look at this. That's what you were talking about. We can't fit it here. Cool. Where is Tucker? Oh, that's Tucker. Uh, I got signal from Murphy. That's a friend of mine, Connor. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's find him. The signal was coming from the store. Go to the limestone spires. Okay, we'll go to the limestone spires very soon. Just joined the stream. What's your opinion about the update? More things for content? There, There's more content for sure. You need a pallet to store them. We will build a pallet. We will build a pallet. Can I store this stuff here? Okay, we cannot store those things here either. Maybe they should add here a tiny icon saying why we can't store that stuff here would be kind of cool, but maybe we don't need that icon to clutter the inventory even more. Understandable. I mean, we have enough weapons, so we only got to go to the limestone spires. Let's get the loot. And another friend of Connor and Tucker got in touch. I think he's an ex-cop. I hope he hasn't forgotten how to shoot. That's the kind of skill we need. Okay. They're all heavyweight items. Not all of them are heavyweight items. Like those bolts, they're not heavyweight items. got in a junkyard. Okay, we don't need to go to that junkyard. Has anybody done junkyard event to see if we get new loot there or not? Where are the limestone spires? Limestone ridge. And there we go. There are the limestone spires. Let's go there. Here's the thought. Allow us to buy a true friend doggo in the shop. Tired of waiting for it. Been over three years. Goop, says Ladybug. Maybe. Maybe. But again, I'm not a developer. I don't have any say in it. It's like I'm a normal player playing Last on Earth. Should I save up to play to get purple cards or get blue cards? I'm looking forward to affordable blueprints. It all depends how many guns you have and how many cards you have. Once you get 
let's say 10, 20 blue, you can exchange them for purple. But if you don't get 10, 20 blue, then you shouldn't exchange them. It's all, it all depends on what you want to get and what kind of things you have. Can't really explain all of it in one sentence. If you've been playing this game for a long time, for a few years, then yeah, exchange them, get purple blueprints. If you just started playing this game, if you haven't played it for a year, then you probably shouldn't exchange it. If you've been playing this game for a few years, then you might as well just get purple blueprints if you really, really want to get them. But again, it's probably better to get purple blueprints from the arena than the police department. So I wouldn't exchange probably blue for purple. I would try to clear the arena event. Uh, let's get that. Uh, nothing there. It says to go up, but I can't go up. It doesn't let me. I see lots of dead zombies, so maybe that dude dealt with them. That police officer or whatever the guy was. Okay, so that's the same store. I remember we were sneaking around this place during Act 2 or something. There's the store. Out, out, you coward. Rust, I hear you. You won't escape. So we're going to get more mercenaries. Hey, yo, we need help. Get into the store. Find the scumbag. I'll cover you. Rust has more likely set traps inside. I'll show you how to disarm them. Okay. The main rule is don't run ahead. Okay. So we can maybe disarm traps only here. Oops, I'm gonna die here right now. Almost died. Um, I can't go through this thing. Now, can I? How does one turn off electricity? Cut off the power. Is it inside? Oh no, it's outside. I see that it's outside. Run through traps for through traps for science. I think we should do it. I think we should ra run through these traps for science. Because yeah, why not? Let's just go through these traps for science. Oh, that's it. Just got a little bit of damage. Cool. That was the science then. For those who didn't know, that's what happens when you run through that stuff. Now let's find Rust. I mean, there's only one door here. Oh, the dude just smacked me with the baseball bat over the head, and now he's gone. Answer, you bastard. Where's my daughter? I'll beat your... I'll beat the guts out of you. Forget it, dude. You're never gonna find her. What did you just say? Get out of here. Why on earth is he attacking me? What did I do? He's just injecting... Liquor. Epic. Why am I the- why he's attacking me? I can't even get him. So you want it the rough way, fine. And I'm stuck and I couldn't move. Damn, he stunned me, don't let him go. The light traps are ready. Now, all the way there. The fun is already here. Okay, so those lights are gonna attra attract basically new zombies. Okay. Is the dude throwing some sort of grenades? He is, probably. Yeah, look at this guy. He's throwing grenades even though we don't really see them. He literally thro throws kind of nothing, but he is throwing those grenades. That name Rust seems planned, maybe. Okay, I had only 40 or something health and we still survived. That's good. That's it. Uh, Rust, I think it's time to go. Looks like we're in time. Connor, cover them. Did he just speak in third person to himself? We need Rust. He knows where Murphy's daughter is. Escaped again. My girl, where is she? We'll find her, buddy. Well, we got ourselves a new mercenary, probably. We gotta go back to the settlement. Understandable. 
Let's get the load and this one. Connor keeps us on our toes. He's going to set up a whole production facility out here. I think we'll be able to build anything with rooms like these, even a new civilization. Okay. It's like you had two health. Everything was calculated. That two health thing was absolutely calculated. Check the restaurant full. Okay, let's go back there. Let's see if we've missed anything. Okay, a little bit of food. Duct tape, iron plates. Russ found out all about us. Find him quickly and kill him. Matt, he'll be... He'll tell everyone what we're doing. Okay. All right, all right. Yo, Fane, thanks for the donation. Welcome to the stream. Imagine if the next update adds special table to mass produce berry tea. Thanks, mate, for being here, and thanks for these genius ideas. Developers, if you're watching this, we need a mass production berry tea table. Berry tea press. Berry tea pump. That's what we need. Helicopters? No, no, no. We need a mass press. A huge press. An industrial press to press berry tea. Okay, so I think we've looted this entire restaurant. There's a vehicle. How do I get to it, though? I can't get to that vehicle. I mean, I could probably unzoom. Action unavailable. It doesn't allow me to unzoom. And I can't go that way, but there is a vehicle and I can't get to it. There was a chopper. And it doesn't allow me to unzoom in this location, which is kind of weird. Yeah, it won't allow me to go through it for sure. Nope, it does not allow Merry me. Oh, Peter Hoffner. Merry pre-Christmas. Thanks, Peter Hoffner, uh, for the donation. Welcome to the stream. And Merry pre-Christmas pre to you as well. Merry, Merry pre-Christmas. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the support on the channel. Try storing the heavyweight items in your chopper. Yes, we can store them there. A lot of people said that we can store them, so I believe that we can store them there. I think this is your chopper. Oh, maybe that is my chopper. But again, we don't really see it. It's just there. How do I reach it? But all right. I collected all the materials for the headquarters leveling up, but the game doesn't allow me. Do you know the reason? No. Try to contact the support. Go on official last in our Discord. You can find it in the settings there or go to discord.g slash LDOE. But yeah, you can f find that Discord through the settings and join there and ask that question there. But I think we should just wait for the bug fix as they are probably gonna fix everything. Uh, okay, now we gotta talk to Connor. Hello, sir. Look, we need one more room to cut metal. Build another room, you gotta be kidding me. How many more things does that dude need? We need one more room to cut metal. Let's build another room. Fane, thanks for the donation. Welcome to the gym. It will be a good idea to raid other second bases for resources. What do you think? To raid other second bases. Others second bases for resources. But, oh, if we could raid these things. If we could raid the settlement. I don't know. I don't know. What would I know? Okay, so we'll have to get back to the base to build another room then. Um, we need more wood and stones. Let's get more wood and bricks. Yeah, so far I've really liked this update. It breathes new life into this game, for sure. Is it perfect? No. Is anything perfect in life? No. Could it be, be could it be, be could it be better? Absolutely. Will it be better? Maybe. Does it get Sykes approval? Yes, it does. So that's my update review in a nutshell. It is the best and the most fresh thing we've gotten since since the ATV update. We have gotten a laboratory, but it's a laboratory, you know. 
we've had those things before. We have Bunker Alphas and other stuff. Build a 7x6 Rome. Don't tell me what to build. Can't you just, let's say, build... I want to move this thing here. Okay, it doesn't allow you to move. It has to Fan be in a from separate Poland. room. Love your streams. Keep it up. Uh, Piotr, thanks for the donation. Welcome to stream. Fan from Poland. Love your streams. Keep it up. Thanks, mate. Thanks for everything. Dzień dobry. Dziękuję. Wysłałeś się on tobie. And... Lars Robin, thanks Press for the like super chat. everyone. Hello. Hello. From Norway. Hello from Norway. All the fans from Norway, welcome, welcome. Sorry I don't speak Norwegian. But hey, thanks for being here. And shout out to you, Patrick. Thanks for everything. Thanks to Lars Robin. Thanks, guys. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Shout out to all of you. Happy holidays. And uh, now we are building another room. To those that have just joined, we are building now another room. I'd love to go and chop down these trees. Maybe let's get a hatchet. Oh... Uh, yeah, I'd love to build another room around this place. No? Your storehouse is small. It should be at least 4x3. The rest 3x3 is enough. Yeah, I believe. We will maybe upgrade it. It's fine. Once we reach that point where I can't do anything, we will upgrade it. Wait, I'll stand over here and other 3x3 will be fine. So I'll be building those 3x3 rooms. Oh, I don't want to build them too close. I'll build them um, over here. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, we'll need to chop that tree down, though. And that berry bush will disappear, I hope. So wait, let's get back to the base to get a hatchet. Can we upgrade these walls to a higher level? Later on, we'll be able to even upgrade these walls. But so far, why? We don't know. We will see. Yo, Eric Langster, thanks for being a member for 10 months in a row. Thanks for everything. I'm liking this update, and it's fun to build. Have fun. Thanks, mate, for everything. And... I agree with you. It is fun, and I do like this update. Check control decks. They will show required room sizes for upgrading. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll definitely check this. Wait, I came back for more stuff. We'll probably need more iron as well, perhaps. I really don't like this update, says Carmelito. I just wish they improved the actual game rather than a to expand the settlement like this. The expedition thing just seems like the like a money grab. You have some points there, but not everything's valid in my opinion. What do you mean by let's say improving the actual game? I think they improved the actual game, but did they money grab with expeditions? Absolutely. But I also think that did they did improve the game. Uh, wait, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, we came here for something. Oh, for a hatchet. That's why I came here. Bro, don't build until they ask you in the missions. They ask you to build each room. I mean, that's what I'm literally doing. It says build foundry. So that's what I'm doing. I'm building a foundry right now. I'm literally doing what they tell me to do. Isn't everything a money grab? Like, this entire life is just a money grab. That's well said. A little bit of pay to win doesn't hurt, says so insane. To be honest, I've already played this update for over two hours. And so far, I, ha I didn't have to pay nothing. So far, these expeditions are free. So we did get a decent amount of free content. And I haven't hit the wall yet. And everything in this game can be sped up, so... Again, I kind of want to stay away from those pay-to-win talks for now because I am not qualified to talk about it yet. I can tell you, ATV is pay-to-win. True friend doggos are kind of pay-to-win-ish, even though you can't even buy them. But I don't know much about mercenaries yet. They are probably pay-to-win, but I haven't reached that stage yet. I don't really focus on those expeditions because, as I said, they're pretty lame. So I don't really care about expeditions that much. But this entire settlement is all about expeditions. Doesn't matter, guys. Let me just enjoy and let me build a house. I want to build my house. I want to build my foundry here. Bam. It's going to look a little bit different this time. Look at this. Sayak the Builder. I'm going to be like, Sayak, you're not an architect. I am an architect. I graduated uh, from high school. 
Here we go. Let's add these windows. Foundry is going to have a lot of windows. You know why? Because who uses Max? There we go. And I'm out of iron. Okay, let's get back to the base. Let's get some more iron then. Who uses Max in foundries? That's what I try to say. But you got the point. Connor, it's not your house. This is my house. Probably. By that, I mean maybe develop another bunker or something. So by upgrading the game, okay? By upgrading the game, I mean develop another bunker or something. Or else, I don't know, lol, maybe I'm too picky. I do like how they did expand the story, though. Says Carmelito. To be honest, another bunker, that would be cool, but I would probably politely disagree that we needed another bunker. Like, we have bunker alpha. What, what else do we need? Hmm? <laughs> what else do you need? You have bunker alpha, like the, the god of all bunkers. The bunker of all bunkers. It's not a bunker, it's the bunker. We also have bunker bravo. We have laboratory. What other bunkers do we need? So, we came here for some loot. For more iron? Probably. I don't know why I came here. I don't remember what I came here for. We need PvP. You have PvP in the Sector 7. This is peak architecture. Anti-earthquake. Classic design. Eco-friendly. Fiber connection. Lightning proof. Uh, bunker fortified. Infinite loot says insane. Yes. This base is insane. Raid proof also. You forgot to mention that. I mean, for now it's not raid proof. There are holes. But there are holes for a reason. Let's build a door. So yeah, by no means, guys. I don't think this update is perfect. But as I already said... Oh my goodness. No wood again! This is stupid. Let's get back to the base and let's get some more wood. There's got to be a way to connect this base somehow to another thing. I don't know. 271 likes, says the A guy. Smash the like button on the video. Let's try to hit 400 likes. You can do it. Smash the like. Hit it. Destroy it. If you think this is the best update you've ever seen, smash that like button. And if you think that this is the most disgusting update ever, if you'd rather... I don't know what. Then smash that like button on the video. Regardless, smash that like button. Show your hatred towards that update or show your love towards the update with this like button on the video. There we go. Genius. Like buttons go through the roof. I did it. I found the way. Infinite like glitch. I found how to get infinite likes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go here. Let's build another wall and boom! We finished building another room. Uh, put a control desk in the room. Foundry. So now we gotta pull a... Pull a... Put a foundry control desk here. Look at this. Boom. Foundry. Let's place a control desk. Bam. The point is, again, I might be just kind of an idiot. A little bit stupid. But... I think if these control things... The... UI maybe could look a little bit different because when I click on it, I kind of don't understand anything given right now. Like, we need to build this casting bench. We need to maybe upgrade walls to level two. And after we do all of that kind of stuff, we will be able to unlock these iron wires. Can be found at the farm. Complete the intruder's mission, which I have no idea what that mission is. Well, aluminum wires. Then we'll be able to get that grinding stone and the drawing thing. The grindstone and the drawing bench. So we'll be able to get all of this once we upgrade that stuff. Once we get these things. Build everything. I mean, it even explains everything. All I have to do is just read. Build everything from the progress list to increase the room's level and unlock new constructions and recipes. Okay, it explains everything, but who reads? Not me. Absolutely not me. Might be stupid, but at least not dumb them, says insane. Yes, indeed. The one thing I would have liked is being able to build in the settlement with stuff from the warehouse without having to go back and forth. 100% I agree with that. But at the same time, we don't really build that often. Like, we build once a month after we are done building these things. We will no longer have to keep walking back and forth. So, at least for now, and it doesn't really cost any energy. So, it's not that bad. Something different. 
But yeah, we need to put a casting bench. But I agree, it would be better and more convenient if we didn't have to do it. But it's nice to travel. Let's build a casting bench. And then we need an anvil. Casting bench oof, requires more of those... Uh, support beams. They're not support beams. We need beams. Pine beams. And iron plates and more... Ball bearings. Okay, let's go over here and let's try to get then these things. Okay, we got only one. You gotta be kidding me. Go on, let's get more of those pine beams. Adrian says, Adrian Prosser says, need to put a casting badge. Thank you. Thank you. Like, seriously, you might be like, psych, you're being sarcastic because you already were talking about- No, I'm not being sarcastic. I absolutely had no idea what to do right now in the game. Even though it says literally here in the top uh, left corner here, even though it says that, hey, put that casting bench. But I had no idea what to do. Thanks, mate. Uh, Agent Prosser, thank you. About you, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. Like, from the bottom of my heart, I've never thanked anyone like that this much. Thank you, man. For real, thank you. You saved my life. The person who saved my life is zero compared to you. Thank you. Absolutely, thank you. There we go. Let's get more of those beams. We got six of them. How many more do we need? How many more beams do we need? Uh, bullying people. Who am I bullying? Who am I bullying? I haven't bullied anybody. Okay, that's gonna take a while to get those things. I mean, we will get one and the other one will... will finish. So by the... Let's do one more expedition, perhaps. And by the time we're done with that expedition, we will upgrade that base again. I think so. And I've gotten another comment that I can't really answer. What's the point of this base? What's the point of your main base? If you can answer what's the point of your main base, I can answer then what's the point of this base. Because I don't know what's the point of our main base. And I think we're gonna just lose here. I don't think I'll be able to upgrade anything. But haven't we gotten another mercenary? No, we still don't have it. We still don't have this Officer Murphy, so I kind of don't want to waste points on it. Maybe let's not go to any of those expeditions. Yeah, I'm just going to build a casting bench. That's it. We're not going on expeditions yet. I'll probably lose there anyways. I don't have enough uh, gear score. And now we can build this casting thing. Foundry and casting bench. We need more iron plates and be ball bearings. Iron plates and ball bearings. Let's get back to the base and let's get it. The main base is to store your loot. Well, alright, well, this base stores other loot as well to store your loot, but this is your base as well. I don't know, guys, you're asking me hard questions. You'd rather... I'd be better off answering you, what's the point of life? It's easier to answer than what's the point of the second base. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, we need to do something. Um, okay, ball bearings. I came here for ball bearings. The simple answer should be like, hey, the... The settlement is for the minivan. And with the minivan you can do expeditions, and with the expeditions you get loot, it's a different part of the game. But expeditions kinda suck. So I'm kinda trying to find a better way to explain what's the point of that second base. I needed ball bearings and iron plates. So there we go, let's get those iron plates. And let's go back there. Glad I can finally use my ball bearings stocks now. Nice. 
There we go. Every time he forgets why he's there. No, I mean, we're just having a conversation. I'm trying to solve your world problems. So, I do get lost. I apologize. Let's build this casting bench. Boom. So, on this casting bench, we could do things. We could get these iron billets. Somebody said that they're hard. Oh my god, iron billets are hard. They just cost iron and probably coal. Let's get a little bit of coal. Smelt and iron workpiece. Alrighty. Could we unlock new things here? What does it say? Wall level 2. We have... It says one out of two. Where is a single level two wall here? We don't have a single level two wall here. What does it say level two wall then? It's stupid. Guys, am I stupid or is this thing that describes here is stupid? Like wall two. Wall level two. It says one out of two. That means I already have one level two wall here. But I don't have a single level two wall here. Outer wall like What outer wall? Oh, walls around the base. The base walls, now these walls, the outer wall, the main wall. Oh, I see, but why it doesn't say there? But why is there only one out of two? Level two, it's one out of two because it's one level one. These are my walls. Okay, so wall level two. Why does it... I don't know. Okay, I get it. Now I understand this. Okay, so this is the wall for that. But let me just tell you this, okay? So, I've been playing this game for five years, and I'm not the brightest person. That's a fact. But isn't that a little bit confusing? That it says that simple floors... Protects the settlement when you click on it, it explains everything. Protects the settlement from external threats, which there are no threats. The stronger the wall, the better the workbenches you can build so that you don't have to worry about them. Okay? And then simple floors. Whatever, just forget it. It's still silly. The design there is silly. That's all I'll say. I can bet that half of the players at least thought that that wall meant the wall for the base there, not for the whole settlement, but for that room itself. The wall icon speaks for itself. Well, it does, didn't speak for me, did it? <laughs> I don't have any coal. What is this place? Give me that coal. Give me that stuff. Okay, we need to get more coal. And to get more coal, we need to use those furnaces. Can I place furnaces in the base? No, I need to repair them first. You can use wood, says Saif. Thank you, Saif! Thank you! Thank you! The world hunger is solved! Thanks, Saif! Guys, we can use wood there. We could use wood! Why am I struggling to get coal there? Okay, so for those who do not know, Saif. Coal is more efficient than wood. That's why I am... using this. Hopefully that makes sense. Oh, we can even store that here. Lovely. This is bloody lovely. Will I be able to reach those other things? Oh no, I cannot go through that place. Oh, we don't need coal for that way. I'm an idiot. Like literally guys an idiot. You don't get coal in these workbenches. You don't get coal here. You get coal in the... On the campfire. There we go. I knew it. I knew that I'm doing something wrong. I absolutely knew it. So this update is cool. I mean... I'm building stuff. I'm moving resources. I'm struggling. I'm forgetting things. I love it. Okay, so we did get a little bit of coal. Let's get back to the base then.
what has been added, check out my previous video and the beginning of this live stream. And yeah. Uh, we are back here. And nope, not this place. You can use planks too. Yes, guys, you can use planks. Yes. There we go. That's going to take us 20 minutes. And we need to do more expeditions. The point is, I don't even know if I want to go and do more expeditions right now because... We're going to get new mercenaries. Like, we're going to get this Officer Murphy. Soon enough, then we might get this Rust. Has anybody progressed further? What other mercenaries do you unlock? When do you unlock this Rust guy or this Officer Murphy? And why Officer Murphy has less health than this guy named Rust? Makes absolutely no sense. So I kind of want to know, guys, what other mercenaries you get because we have some... Some boxes that we could open up. Not anytime soon. What do you mean not anytime soon? After you finish it, do we get them or we don't get them? There goes settlement. Let's go here and we have a few boxes to open up. There go two, three, and uh, four. So let's open a few of them up. I have just four right now. I did progress. I unlocked them all. I maxed the base. I finished the helicopter and I found the point of life. This is insane. Thank you. Thank you for the information. Really cool. We can get them more later. I said in plain English, guys, do we get more mercenaries later? But yeah, do we get... Doesn't matter. Whatever, guys. I give up. We got some of those points. We could level those mercenaries up. But the reason what I'm trying to say here is maybe it's not worth it to upgrade them. Because what if we will get a new mercenary? Like, from the stories or whatever, but we'll get this Officer Murphy, then maybe we should be upgrading this Officer Murphy instead of those other mercenaries, so maybe I shouldn't be upgrading them yet. I have five of them, says Babatunde. So yeah, we do get one more mercenary. So then we'll be able to... to get rid of some of them. Like, for example, Tucker. Tucker seems kind of pointless, doesn't he? Probably. Rachel just gets the loot. That's it. But it's all about the gear score, I guess. Not about their health and other stuff. It's all about the gear score. So we will get rid of Tucker because Tucker has lower health health score. Okay, so let's get... We need to smelt an iron piece. Okay, we will do it. Let's set off to one more expedition then while we are waiting. We go, let's die in this expedition. Let's auto squad. It needs 1,000 gear score. We don't have that amount of gear score. Tucker is the worst, I swear, probably. Let's go, Liz. They could clean up this minivan at least from those cartridges. There we go, guys. Look at this, how quickly I click these buttons. Oh my god, Zach, you're so good at this! Can you give me tips and tricks? Sure. As soon as they light up, just click them. We're gonna die here right now. We will absolutely die here. There we go. There will be another wave of zombies and that is it. There is no way I'll do it. Okay. I'm gonna wait until my minigun resets. Let's drop the turret. And that's it, we are dead. That is it. Let me shoot! Oh my goodness. They have like one health defeated! 
that's it. Thank you. We lost. There we go. So you know what? Whatever. Let's just let's just try to skip that iron work piece just so that we could progress a bit further through that story. And let's go further. It was all calculated. Yes, indeed. I mean, we could upgrade these mercenaries, but as I said, I kind of don't want to upgrade them because what if we're going to get another mercenary? So I'd rather upgrade that guy. Uh, there we go. We just did this. Mission complete. Speak to the officer. Check Officer Murphy's lead. Okay, give them the power. We could give them the power, but I don't want to upgrade them yet. What if we get another mercenary? I want to upgrade that guy. Unbelievable. Chris from the port got in touch. He says he's found raiders in the woods and my daughter's stuff is there. What if blah, blah, I know where they are. Okay, follow me. It's time to practice shooting. Okay. Okay, I'll go there. But hey, first of all, let's get back to the base. Let's drop some loot. And then let's go with that guy. Next, they'll add Candy Crush mode. It says insane. Yes. I've been waiting for the zombie post-apocalyptic Candy Crush mode for a really long time. It'll be the Skull Crush. You'll have to connect zombies. And they'll explode. Hell yeah! And then they'll add the Clash of Clans style building mode. Where you have to build your own city and whatever. And you have to wait for like three days until stuff upgrades. Hell yeah! So Last on Earth kind of now has three games... In one game, we have a single player mode, we have then the settlement mode, and then we have the Sector 7 mode. This is ridiculous. Angry bloaters. Yes, we will also get an uh, Angry Birds, aka Angry Bloaters. Genius. You guys are a bunch of geniuses. Or, oh, excuse me. Uh, the proper way to. The plural way of saying genius is genius. Sai. And if you think I'm wrong, think again. Let's eat those berries. And let's drop that doctor. We just kind of wanted to clean the inventory just at least a little bit before we progress further. Just three days, you meant 24 days. I mean, it's in the beginning. From level 1 to go to level 2, you'll have to wait three days. And then, yes, you'll have to wait 24 days and longer. And how about Last on Earth card mode? Yes, indeed. When in Witcher 3, we have Gwent. And in Last on Earth, we have, like, we'll have another card game. I don't know how it'll be called. It's up to you guys to get creative. Go, 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 guys. We'll go, go, go. Let me get the loot. Let me get the guns. There we go. You know what? I'm ready. I'm somewhat, some way ready. Let's go for that act, too. I will go and get the rewards. It's kind of stupid that you gotta go all the way back to get the rewards here like this. It's a very not user-friendly way to get these rewards. I'm telling you right now. Because after you complete the mission, you gotta click like 16 buttons just to get back and claim your rewards. Okay, it, tur it turns out Murphy has a daughter. Or he had. Let's hope he'll find her. My character here that's writing this diary, he, he's brutal. I feel so sorry for him. I'm going to try to help him. After all, family is the most important thing. Yeah, that's why you don't have any family. The dude's searching for his daughter. Like, he still hopes that she's alive. And my guy's like, well, he had a daughter. Maybe. Maybe she's dead. Pine bushes, huh? Let's go to the pine bushes, baby. Try not to cringe challenge impossible. Devs outdid themselves this time. I mean, the expedition mode, I agree. It is... It is cringe. It is a little bit eh. And there we go. The game just lagged. <laughs> I just said, I'm sorry. Every time I'll diss Last on Earth a little bit, it turns out... It turns off automatically. It crashes. I apologize. 
this game is listening to me. This new expedition mode is not cringe. It is the best game mode ever. Expedition, the best. But expedition mode is kind of lame. I'm not going to pretend here that it's great. That's the, the most disappointing part about it. But other than that, everything around that stuff is very fun. In my opinion. Like the best thing that Last on Earth has to offer right now. Otherwise, you gotta go and grind Bunker Alpha. If you don't want to grind Bunker Alpha, you can chill in this settlement and keep running around bringing resources and building more rooms. Which is more interesting than Bunker Alpha. Expedition mode aside, the whole new base system with the new materials is hilarious as insane. What do you mean is hilarious? What's hilarious about it? I mean, this game's been out for five years. They're not gonna add Fortnite to it. Stay away from here, They'll, they're bombing me, go around them and attack from the side. I'll be distracting them here. Okay. Oh god, how many are there? I don't even know what's going on! We gotta defend from the raiders, I didn't even know what's going on. The guy said go from the side, so we gotta go from the top. The guy's just wasting their minigun. Oh, there's a raider with a hazmat suit, okay. What an idiot. Okay, let's deal with this later real quick. Got one of them. Got another one. See, so yeah, definitely this place will require a few blocks here to clear out. There we go, we did this. Find the officer in the camp. Okay, wait, before we do this, I want to touch this barrel. Look, set up barrels to take covers of... To take cover off and run away. If Rust injected stimulants, he won't survive. Okay. The lore is deeper than... What game has deep lore? Five Nights at Freddy's. Yes. Okay, bloody cultists again, excellent. The more of you come out to me, the faster blah blah, I can deal with all of you bloody creatures, chemicals. They make him feel worse, take him to the barrels. Oh, okay, we gotta take him to the barrels, okay, cool. I'm kinda curious how many people have wasted their guns. Lure biker to the barrels. I lured him to the barrels, what's going on? That was that barrel. There are more barrels, apparently. Stupid. There we go. So you have to apparently lure it only to this barrel, not to the barrel down there. Genius. Okay. Okay, so the guy's gonna heal up. So they're using some sort of special injection and they... They get damaged because of these barrels. Alright. You're gonna lose anyway, and there go the guy died. Buggers. Leave me, I can handle it. Okay, so now we gotta search the camp. Better find the leader of their gang. He went to the northeast. Now go. Okay, I'll go there, but before I go, I need to get my ten thick leather. Ten thick cloth. Oh, there's a gang of people. No injuries on the bodies. They might have been poisoned or they poisoned themselves. No injuries on the bodies. There is like a river of blood. No injuries on the bodies. Okay. All right, seems legit. There is a diary. Okay, list of items. Frank's men are 1.5 times more expensive than women. Sell the girl for the half price. Okay. Dude, you again. Why are you following me? I just... He just threw something at me. I sure he can. Uh, can you hear howling? The wolves can smell you. Nope, I can't hear that. I don't think we'll see each other again. The guy just left. There is a turkey. And now we have to fight off the wolves. I did it, mom. I did it.
Okay, nothing around this place. And let's talk here. My baby's not here. Where could she be? Is everyone okay? Chris, you're good. Let us help you now. I thought Chris crawled to that guy, but uh, the officer came here. Thanks for coming. No problems. Let's go back to the settlement. Oh, we're gonna get Chris now? Find out how to supply the settlement with electricity. Return to the settlement. Why do we need electricity? I don't know. But... Perhaps. Okay, let's get the loot. It turns out that Connor's workbenches have to be powered. How am I supposed to connect it? I'm no electrician. It's a good thing Connor still has friends who know how to do this. All we have to do is find them. But we need electricity for what workbenches? We don't even know what workbenches. So it's like one moment we go fight and another moment we just go back to the base and... Build workbenches. Okay. Somebody says you need to build a hard generator. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you. What would we do without you? Okay, we got another rest up event, except we're not going to that rest up event. We have stuff to do in the settlement. Still building workbenches after five years is insane. It's insane. I will drop kick you. This is last on Earth survival. It's all about grinding and building workbenches and grinding bunker alpha for five years and for the next five years. And ten years later, we will be doing the same thing because it is last on Earth survival. He's just chilling. I'll have to do all the work. In the trailer, they said, in the trailer, they say something. Oh, there's lots of things to do and it's too much to do alone. But who said that you'll have to do that stuff alone? You'll get friends, like, bro, like, you'll get mercenaries, and these mercenaries don't help us! Powerful workbenches won't work without power. They're not easy to construct, but Lemmy certainly knows how to do it. Look for him at the port. Go to the port. Okay, find out how to supply the settlement with electricity. Hell yeah! I like being job kicked, says insane. Hmm. Then I will not job kick you. Let's go to the port and let's talk to Lemmy or whatever the guy's name is. Have you ever heard a hit game called Among Us? Never heard of it, but the name sounds pretty sus. That's all I can say. It's like about to invent electricity. Yeehaw! Says and said yes. Yes. They said you'll get friends. They never said useful friends. I mean, the title, the trailer literally said that uh, you won't have to do everything alone. Like, who said that you'll have to work alone? You'll get like this and that people, friends or whatever else, mercenaries. But they don't help me at all. I have to do everything. That was the point of them. Oh, there's even some sort of a radio here now that they're listening to. Let's deal with Maverick. I don't know if I trust that radio though, so I'll just disable it. Need to help with wiring, no problem, but first let's try out these starts. Okay, there's a boat, great place for tests, let's go there by boat. Ooh. Let's go there by boat then. I think I'm gonna turn on back the audio. Okay, there's more radio, why there is that radio? I don't... How do I disable it? Wait. There we go. Now that's much better. But now I won't hear even the gunshots or anything. Let's talk to this guy. Find out how to supply the settlement with electricity. I don't trust the sounds in this game. Uh, move it. You have to work fast here. Okay, but what if you don't have the boat? You won't be able to progress. Now zombies from all the island will be here. Grab this junk broke, you fight them off, uh, I'm gonna fix it. Damn, I ran out of parts, there's some old equipment there, go look for parts. Okay, so let's get that stuff, let's repair it. You came by his boat, not yours, oh, okay, cool. Do I need that stuff? Probably.
Probably, probably. All right, there we go. Let's deal with this bloodthirsty pest. It's so weird when you don't hear stuff. What if I turn it on again? Okay, now that's better. Take the seaweed. We will take it. We will take it. Let's load this little thing. There we go. Now we got three parts for the turrets. I might as well load the stash. Let's get random items. Bunch of scrap metal. That's just what the doctor ordered. It works. Get ready. This baby's about to kill those zombies. Okay. Oh no, I'm about to run out of stuff. Where did the guy go? Oh no, there's that stupid radio again. I think he's gonna deal with these zombies. Uh, whoa, shoots just like the good old days. Now I'm ready to help. I'll meet you there. What do you mean, just like the good old days? What did he do with that turret before? If he wasn't using it for the... For the zombie apocalypse. In any case, let's go. Let's skedaddle from here. Okay, now we got to go back to the settlement, so let's return back to the settlement. I think auto-aim makes the game more boring, says Sus. Uh, welcome to Last Earth Survival. It's not uh, Apex Legends. It is Last Earth Survival. Forgot the seaweed. It's fine, guys. It's. I should have taken the seaweed. I admit. I admit. I forgot that seaweed. I should have taken it. I did forget that seaweed. Absolutely should have taken it. I admit my fault. But it is what it is. Okay, let's try to go back there and let's talk to Lemmy now. Let's see what he's gonna tell me. Is half an hour job, just don't mix up the wires. Construct a generator. Electric cables blueprint received. Where do we build that electric cable? Do we build it here? Apparently not. Construct a generator. Obviously, it's not going to be this generator. I don't think it's this one. It's substation. No, no, no. We don't need a substation. We need a generator. Just a tiny generator. So we go here, power. And there's a medium generator and a small generator. Okay, why do we need this aluminum wiring? I don't know. Or maybe to connect generator stuff. Okay, so we need these iron billets. We need simple aluminum cables made on the montage table. We need sheaves and rubber parts. So all of the new resources besides the rubber parts. Let's see, what do we have here? Can you tell me how to clear the farm without a trick or wall trick or so? Check out type LDOE Sayak farm location and you'll see how we clear it. If you don't want to use wall chicks, then you can blast guns. Uh, this. This. I don't have enough of those aluminum cables. Where does one get them? People. Check this out. I'm not going to be able to build this thing because I don't have enough of those uh, aluminum cables. I can get them on the montage table. 
But can I build it? Pressing machine. Foundry. Assembly. I don't see that montage machine or whatever it's called. It's in the workshop. Oh, there we go. So we could build this thing here. We could build it, but can I do it? Maybe I shouldn't build it before they ask me to do it. I'm kind of scared to build it and break the game because... Welcome to Last on Earth Survival. So yeah, I kind of don't want to build that thing yet. And we can only get it from expeditions, but I can't do more expeditions because I don't get any more aluminum cables. Do we get daily aluminum cables, perhaps? We don't even get daily of those aluminum cables, so... Build that thing. Let's go. Let's try to build it. Whatever. If the game glitches or something, developers will fix it. Yeah. Let's go for it. Let's build another room. Maybe I can just build this workshop thing and the control desk. And maybe I can build it in this room. Okay, I can't build it because we don't have enough beams and uh, iron billets. Disgusting. Reject building. Return to cavemen. Excuse me. Wait, not here. I want to see how many more of those iron billets I got. Zero! An absolute zero. Okay, let's see if I can get more then. Boom. That's three. And there we go. There's a fourth one. We got four. So we'll also need now to build a th fourth room now. And for that, we need more wood and... Uh, and, and bricks. So let's get that stuff. Let's get bricks and wood. Iron and iron plates. Okay, we'll get that stuff then. Let's make some space in the inventory because it's full. I can't even bring the right loot with us for it. You know what? I don't need this garbage. Why did I bring that with me? This, this, there you go. That's way better. This goes there. And these melee weapons that I got. Let's get rid of them. And you know what? I'll keep that coal. And let's drop that minigun. There we go. Let's get this little bit of iron and some of those iron plates. There we go. That's better. Let's get back now to the base and let's build another... Another room. I don't know how far and where we're gonna build that room. I'll just probably build it around this place somewhere. There we go. A three by three, right? Let's get another three by three then. There we go, that is better. Let's add some walls. Look at this, guys. A professional architect. Check this out. Now we're gonna add some windows. One, two, and three. And I won't have enough blanks for doors now. You gotta be kidding me. You need a lot of wood to build that stuff. Ridiculous.
There we go, a door, and we cannot build doors because I don't have any planks. Perhaps I have some planks here. If I don't, then we'll have to go back to the base to get even more planks. Uh, we have 40 planks here. Lovely. This is bloody lovely. And let's add that door. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've just built another awesome, uh, awesome base. We can go now to the workshop. We can build this control desk. For now, we need more pine beams. More iron billets. Then we can build this control work desk workshop. Then we can get this montage table. And there we'll be able to get those uh, wires. I think the to operate those cable machine workbenches you have to access to electricity side. That's why the game says first build the generator. Uh, maybe you are right. Maybe you are absolutely right. How do I know which ones need a generator? Does this thing require a generator? Maybe. But I mean, I can't get these aluminum wires without that thing. How am I going to get these aluminum wires? Where will I get them without the expeditions? Because I can't do more expeditions as I'm out of... Stuff, I can't progress further. That's it. So I think that we should build that thing. Has anyone built it? Guys, have you built this montage table? Do you need electricity for that stuff? There go, question to you. Have you built it? To those that have built it. Because maybe it does require electricity. Or maybe it doesn't require any electricity. I don't know. I'm working on it right now. You need nuclear power. Okay. Okay, we're gonna get more of that stuff. You can't build it, it's locked. Don't tell me what I can, what I can't do. We will see. Maybe it is locked. I'm not arguing. I need three more of those things, so let's get some more planks. It's just that I don't have enough of those wires, so to get those wires, we only get them from expeditions, but I can't do any more expeditions, so that's it. I'm forever locked. I'll never be able to progress further in this game. Okay, let's go to this workbench. There we go, that's seven. Is that enough or do we need eight? Okay, we needed eight. Eight of those, eight of those. There we go, let's get another one. And let's build that control desk. Bam, and now we can craft this table. Oh, whoa, whoa! We need to get these light frames required for improving rooms made on assembly table. Heavyweight item. Where on earth is an assembly table? Isn't it in the workshop? In the wood shop? No, it's not. Where's that assembly table then? Foundry? Nope. Nope, where's the... Oh, there's the assembly. We need to get this assembly table. We need to build this room. You gotta be kidding me. There are more things to do. Don't we get new expeditions every day? No, you don't get new expeditions every day. The expeditions are... They keep getting harder and stronger and more difficult. So we'll have to do, I don't know why, build another room. Perhaps. I don't even get those wires anytime soon, only a level thing here. I'm st so we're now at expedition level 12. So we need to get to expedition level, God knows what, 17 until we even get some of those aluminum cables. So we need to build, guys, now another room. Look at this. We gotta build one more room here then, just so that we could place this, um, whatever it's called, I forgot, assembly thing. Right, we need to get this control thing, and then we'll be able to build this assembly table. Hmm. 
This is bloody lovely. Okay, so let's get more of those pine beams. We need six pine beams and a bunch of more planks. So let's get back to the base. Let's get an insane amount of planks. No, wait, says Zoro. Why not? What no? What no, Zoro? But... Because the point is I won't be able to progress further and that's it. I won't have enough of those iron wires and we can only get these iron wires on the montage table and from the... from the other thing. So I can't do anything. Please, I beg you with all my life, says Stone Gaming. Make storehouse 3x3. Three three. No. I'll make it when it's needed. Yo, Combat Engineer, thanks for becoming a member. Thanks for smashing the join button. Thanks, Combat Engineer, for all of your support. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Way too much to build. That is overwhelming. Developers add content. It becomes overwhelming. Developers add Bunker Bravo. It is bad. Guys, there is always Bunker Alpha. Leave the... Uh, leave the building stuff for professionals. Thank you. Yeah, we came back here for more planks. There we go. Let's get that planks. I don't think it's overwhelming. I think it's kind of cool that there are lots of things to build. Something to grind. As there was nothing to do in this game, so now we have stuff to do. We can't build one room for all of these. Yeah, it's kind of weird that we can't build one room for all of that kind of stuff. But it kind of... Like, the base at least is going to look a bit better with all of these things instead of... Instead of, instead of... Having just one big blob. Okay, let's add this stuff. Yo, Ikazi, thanks for the super chat. Thanks, Ikazi. Thanks for everything. Thanks for supporting the channel. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, Ikazi. Welcome, welcome. And there we go. We ran out of iron. How lovely. Tap on the montage workbench and see what it says. And see if there's an electricity logo on it. Uh, workshop. It doesn't say anything. Used for making cables. It doesn't say that there is an electricity logo on it. I mean, all I know is that we need those light frames, and I don't have those light frames here. Sayak the Builder. Yes, he can, says Eric Langster. Yes, indeed. We don't even get these light frames probably anytime soon. Yeah, won't even ever reach that place. Yeah. So we will have to build that assembly table. That's a fact. Um, yeah, let's get back to the base. Let's get some more iron because I didn't take enough of it. The Last of Us Remastered is also out now. I mean, it's been out for a few months. Let's get more of those resources. I mean, it is pretty expensive-ish. You're not going to be able to build all of that in one go, but at the same time, as I said, last on Earth, now there will be more reason to grind in this game. Because once you start the game, you grind Bond Kralf, you get your chopper, that's it. There, then you have a massive wall. Because there's nothing to do. But now you can work on your settlement little by little, which is kind of cool. Better than from the chopper than trying to assemble your ATV right away. Maybe I don't even have to build a huge room, but I'm just going to build it three by three. And that's it. I'll build a door here. There we go. Let's add a few windows. Uh, 
You know what? Whatever. It doesn't look great. It's fine. There we go. A different base. Genius. Let's add a simple door here. We got another room, and now we could probably little by little start building this assembly desk thing. For that, we need more aluminum and pine beams. We need six pine beams. Why only building three by three? Uh, because if I'm not mistaken, to build more things in the base, like we will be able to add, let's say, this drawing bench or an anvil. Like, we can only... Let's say we need to add an anvil here. Uh, to be honest, I don't know why. I'm just building 3x3 three three because it's... It's decent size. But let's say we need... We had to add an anvil to this place. Like, in this room, we can only build metal stuff. Stuff connected to metal. So we need to, let's say, add an anvil. Where even is that anvil? Oh, there we go. We can add this anvil. How big is the anvil? I don't even know how big is it. Well, I just assumed that all the things can fit in this 3x3. If they can't fit in 3x3, I'll make it larger. It's just a base. Not like base, base like a house, but like base layout. Like a basic layout. I would call it like a basic blueprint. Just a blueprint for the future base. If I'll ever need to expand it. I'll be able to expand it later. So yeah, I guess that's the reason why I built 3x3s. Three it's just a basic layout for now. Because I don't know how many more things we'll need to add here. Mm, I need more of those pine beams. Okay, three... Okay, we got five pine beams. Let's get a sixth one. Now let's get aluminum things. Chop all the dead trees. Yeah, we should definitely chop that up in that base. We should chop them down. Metal cutter, you mean? I don't know. Like, all of those things connected with metal there. Upgrade the minivan to help you with gear score and do more expeditions. Yeah. Right. Uh, where do I keep aluminum? There you go. Let's get a little bit of aluminum. One level of your room. Wait. One level of your room for one workbench and one decoration. I don't think I'll be placing any decorations. I don't need that kind of stuff. Yo, Ikazi. By the way, the I East spell like iPhone. It's the short form of... I can see you. Cheers. Oh, it's not Ikazi, it's I can see you. Okay, cool. I get it. Thanks. Uh, I can see you. <laughs> for the for the for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Sorry for butchering your name. Thanks for being here. Thanks for everything. Thanks for clearing some things. In expeditions it says loot will refresh in 22 hours. The loot won't your daily loot will refresh. Okay, I'll go and explain quickly. I'll probably make another video explaining how expeditions work. Once I know everything, because it's a bit confusing, so I'll make a simple video. But... Once you reach a certain level here in expeditions, let's say you reach level 5, then you'll be able to get this box, and this box is gonna give you daily rubber hoses, daily scrap metals, blah blah blah. You reach level 10 in expeditions, then you'll be able to get these sheaves and other things, and all of them combine. And then on level 15, so every five levels, you'll be able to get new daily loot. And right now I have both of these boxes on level 10 and on level 5. And this is the kind of loot that I can get now. I can get daily six of those mercenary tags every 21 hours, every 22 hours, which is kind of cool. Like, that's free. And a bunch of those other things that I can get daily. I can get 10 daily planks just by logging into the game every 24 hours. And the further we go on those expeditions, the more loot we'll, we'll be able to accumulate there. And the more loot we'll get. So there you go. Hopefully that's more clear now. And we are going 
to build ourselves. Wait, I've already built a montage table now. No, I haven't built it yet. I, yeah, yeah, we need to go to the assembly and we need to build this thing. Oh my god! There we go, this room. Wow. Beautiful. I can't see the shirt today, but I'm sure there's a nice shirt under that nice hoodie. DA, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. I think it is the nice shirt. It is the pro shirt there. Thanks, mate. <laughs> thanks, DA. Thanks for keeping the memes alive. And thanks for being a member for five months. Thanks for everything. And yeah, let's try to build this other thing now there's so many other workbenches to build dude this is awesome like they've added a lot of content i really don't get it why some people don't like it which again i agree the expedition menu they the expedition the expeditions themselves are kind of lame inmate hoodie is better than anything else is insane well 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 guys 1000 like for the inmate hoodie to be back Oh, we can build a stand. Thank you. I don't need that stand. We need now an assembly table. Wow, the assembly table is going to require six of those iron billets and ten of those pine beams. Yikes, so a lot of things to do. Ten pine beams and six uh, of those billets. But I think we might continue all of that stuff a bit later. We will build this assembling table uh, during the next live stream. Tank top psych versus inmate hoodie psych. Who wins? <laughs> Probably tank top psych. Tank top psych would knock the crap out of the inmate hoodie psych. Easy. Tank top psych was was OP. So yeah, guys, we will be building this assembly table later. Except before we go offline, I will, however, add more wood. And I will, however, add more planks here. What would be cool if we could build another casting bench, but sadly we can only build one of them. Would be cool if we could have more of those casting benches. But yeah, guys, we will be wrapping it up. Thanks for joining. Have an amazing day. And again, if I have to describe this Abdin in a few words, I think it's great. The expeditions themselves are a little bit underwhelming. It's like a playing a different game here. Like those expeditions things feel like a bit different game, like a lame type of game. I get it. But at the same time, it's something different. And uh, the whole part of building here, the settlement, building these workbenches, figuring out what kind of loot you need for all of these workbenches, grinding for these workbenches is definitely something new in the game. And best update ever. Hell yes, is insane. Yeah, it's like, it is the best update ever. It does expand Lazarus. Like, Lazarus is now 50% bigger, just because we need to build a bunch of these tiny rooms and add new workbenches to it. It's more fun. It is great. In my humble opinion. Maybe I'll change my opinion later about these expeditions. Maybe they'll become more fun, which I kind of doubt it, but it doesn't really matter. As I said, those expeditions don't have to be the main selling point of these of this entire settlement, which this entire settlement exists just for the sake of expeditions. So, but well, at least for me, I'm not gonna just think about these expeditions. I'm gonna think that, hey, you know what? I'm, I have, I'm having fun to build these rooms. And that's what it's all about. Even though expeditions kind of suck, but this thing is fun. So this update still gets my approval. It's still one of the best updates in the game. Probably the best update. Not probably, but it is the best update in the game. We haven't had a better update in Last Earth Survival. This is the best update. And uh, there's a reason why it's the best. Because it's it has added lots of content. There we go. Cyric is going out offline. Speed cube. I don't... We could maybe do a little bit of speed cubing. A little bit of speed cubing. Speed cube timer. There we go. Let's do one speed cubing at the very end of the live stream. And yeah, guys, what do you think about this update? I think it's great. Some people might like expeditions. Again, there's nothing wrong with liking those expeditions. If you like them, that's perfect. You're lucky, I wish. That That's great. If you like them, that's awesome. But as I said, I don't think those expeditions... Uh, they shouldn't be the main selling point. Best thing after inventing the wheel. Yes, indeed. That's a fact. So, guys, at the end of the live stream, we usually do a little bit of speed cubing. Not all the time, but sometimes. And speed guesser. And maybe also we'll do a little bit of geo guesser. But yeah, I have done zero warm up. Maybe I should warm up. OK, 
Okay, that's fine. Uh, this I know. Okay, that's fine. Okay, what else do we need to know? Okay, that's more or less decent. There we go, guys. I think it's... It's enough warm-up. I like it. So yeah, I do like the update as well. It's 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 cool. I like it. It's the best thing that we've had in the update. And now I'm kind of excited to play more Last on Earth because it was getting boring. It was boring for a while. Now it's more fun. There are more things to do in it. And to those that didn't like it, I'm sad to hear that. I wish you enjoyed it. But if you wanted something different, then probably there are other games to play as... I expected a worse update, not gonna lie. I expected it's gonna be way worse. Look, I think that's enough of random turning now. Let's try to solve it. I'll do some inspection. Bam. Okay, bam, bam, there we go. Three, two, one, that should be a quick one. Boom, boom. Oh no. Oh my goodness, what have I done? I failed, I fluffed it at the end, 54 seconds. This is horrible. This is horrible, but it is what it is. Should have been way quicker, should have been 40 seconds. I did mess up at the very end for some reason. And why did I mess it up? I have no idea why I messed it up at the very end. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We might do a little bit of GeoGuessr now. Whatever, should have been done there faster. It doesn't matter. 54 seconds till sub one minute. I am still relatively happy with it. Could have been worse. Definitely could have been a bit worse. Yo, guess her, baby. This, this. Boom. And let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We got five minutes here to guess a few locations. For those who know what Joe Guesser is, you know. For those who don't know, then welcome to Joe Guesser. You gotta guess a location. There we go. I think we are somewhere in the U.S. Cornerstone. I have no idea where that is. I don't know what state is that. But it's somewhere in the US. So I'm just going to do a wild guess somewhere in Ohio. Which I don't think it's Ohio. There we go. There's Ohio, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to Cleveland. And it was not Ohio. It was Connecticut. But good enough. This thing is very interesting. I mean, can it be Norway? Sweden, Norway. I mean, it's... I don't know where. But these houses are very interesting. Like... It's 
nothing that I've seen before. Could be Denmark, maybe. Wait, there was a, uh, something written here on it. And let's look at this dude. Norway, 100%. Look at this guy. The typical Norway thing where you hold your hands in your pockets. And, uh, yeah. And look at this. You put feet like that. It's Norway. Walk. Easy. Oslo. And actually, it was not Norway. It was Sweden. But they're very close. It was 164 kilometers. Maybe he's originated from... Maybe he's originally from Norway and he traveled to Sweden for, for a walk. Maybe he walked there. But in any case, it was decent guess. Couldn't guess the country, but it was decent guess. Kind of close. Another U.S.? Kennedy Court Park. Yeah, definitely. Unless it's Canada, but it's I'm almost certain it's US. Just gotta find at least one truck. One pickup truck, baby. But that dude was Norwegian. Like, 100% he's Norwegian. He's not uh, Swedish. Like, that's a fact. I don't see a single pickup truck, dude. It ain't US. I'm just going for Canada. Just based on that reason alone. Where is Toronto? Around this place. Well, it was close to it still. It was US, which I'm very surprised. I think I know where we are. Austria. Perhaps, maybe Paris, but I think it's Austria. I have never been to Paris, so I don't know. And I've never been to Austria either, but I think it's Austria. Pet shop. Is it UK? Maybe it's even UK. Maybe it's not even Austria. Looks like UK self-service. It's probably UK somewhere. Somewhere in UK, isn't it? In London? I mean, it looks like it. Or maybe it's not even there. Okay, the sun is that way in the southwest. I don't even know what any of that means. Doesn't look like London. Doesn't scream London to me. It looks very south-ish. Yeah, exactly. Like, architect architecture doesn't look UK at all. So I don't know. It's not UK for sure. We got 40 seconds to guess this one and then we have one more to guess. And I don't think it's somewhere in the south. I don't know. This dude, I don't know. Could be hard to guess where it's from, but... Definitely not South Africa. It was somewhere here. In Malta. Well, that was a horrible guess. And we got... 15 seconds to guess this one. Italy or France. There we go. There was the sign. PT Portugal, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. And I guessed it. Is it Portugal? It was Portugal, ladies and gentlemen. We speed ran this one and we still had four seconds to spare. Genius. That buzz gave away everything. That domain thing, the PT. I knew that it's somewhere around that place. I knew that it's south, uh, the, 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 the southwest part of Europe somewhere. So my guess was that it's somewhere around this place-ish. Somewhere like that. Wouldn't have guessed Portugal per se. I would have probably guessed somewhere. I don't know, Spain maybe. I wouldn't have guessed Portugal, but that thing gave away everything. I'm big brain. And all that I have to say. That's all I got to say. So you guys, thanks for joining here. Thanks for traveling around the world with me. Thanks for traveling around the globe. Glad to see all of you here. Check for water. If it's water, then it's UK. Thank you. Thank you for the info. Later, skater says insane. Later, guys. Later, alligator. Later, skater. Or whatever else you want to call yourself. Take care, guys. Have an amazing Friday. It is Friday indeed, I guess. So, guys, take care. See you later. See you tomorrow with another video. It's probably going to be Scum Survival. And after tomorrow, there will be more Last on Earth Survival. And after, after tomorrow, there will be probably the Long Dark or Grounded. Probably the Long Dark. And then after that, there will be Grounded. And then there will be Scum Survival and the Long Dark. So yeah, take care, guys. Peace out. See you later, skater.
Take care, everybody. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for all the support. Take care, guys. Take care, take care.